5,000 years old postal service. Using visions, using visions for sending messages. Please open your workbook, page number 82-83. Are you ready? Let's get started. Now we want to talk about how sending messages developed throughout history. How sending messages developed through history. Sending messages. Compare between sending messages in the past and nowadays. How did they use to send messages in the past? Shadi. In the early days, people used smoke, drums, and messengers to deliver their messages. Uh, today, people use mobile phones and WhatsApp and uh, new ways. Good. So these new ways uh, make sending messages easier, faster, right? So they save our time. Do you need somebody to remind you or look at this picture here? As Shadi said, there are different means of sending messages uh, using the radio, fire signals, smoke signals, ships, flags, TV, drums, telegraph, pigeons, telephone, snail, mail, Morse code, uh, cave drawings, messages on stone columns. So there are different ways. Fasten. Let's learn the new words. Fasten. Fasten. Fasten to make something firmly fixed on its position. Fasten means join, link. You should fasten your seat belt. The pilot asked the passengers to fasten their seat belts before taking off on the plane. Now you use the word fasten in a new sentence. Can you use it? Fasten. Who can use fasten in a sentence of his own? Ahmed Samir. Um, in an airplane, before an airplane uh, takes off, you should uh, fasten your belt. Very good. Thank you so much. Homing. 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 I'll never keep away. Home, sweet home. Homing. Homing is speaking of position or direction. Always knows uh, where exactly home is. Homing birds or fish by nature travel very far from home and come back easily. So homing is an adjective describing these birds or these animals. Homing birds by nature travel very far away from home and come back easily. Homing, homing. Now you use the homing, word homing in a sentence of, uh, of your own. Amr Hamdi. Uh, pigeons that are trained to return home are called homing pigeons. Very good. Thank you. Instinct. 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 The way people or animals naturally react or behave without having to think or learn about. Instinct. So they uh, can find their way by instinct. Without thinking, maybe they have a compass in their head or they know their way easily by instinct. His instinct told him to stay in his car and not to get involved in the fight. When he saw uh, the fight between uh, some people, uh, his instinct, his thought or his feelings told him to stay in his car and not to get involved in the fight. Instinct. Can you use it in a sentence? Instinct. Altras. Can you use it in a sentence? Instinct. Gariza or Futra. Instinct. Instinct makes a girl three dolls like mothers. Good. Thank you. Good. Illegal. 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 Selling or hunting rare animals is illegal. It's against the law, not allowed by law, illegal, the opposite of legal. There was a campaign to stop the illegal sale of cigarettes to children. So selling, uh, selling uh, cigarettes 
to uh, children is illegal. It's against the law. Use illegal in a sentence. Ahmad Samir. Uh, it's illegal to trespass uh, to trespass others uh, pro uh, paper, uh, properties or uh, buildings. Very good. Thank you. Now, before reading the passage to answer uh, the questions, you have to read the question first. This will help save time. Read the passage quickly and write notes. Focus on the opening of each paragraph. Remember, you will find the answers in the passage. So here there are some notes, some instructions for reading comprehension. So before reading the passage, you have to read the questions first. It will help you save time. And then read the passage quickly and write notes. You can write some notes. You can underline some words. Focus on the opening of each paragraph. Pay attention to the first sentence of each paragraph. Remember, you will find the answers in the passage. OK. What is the main idea of the first paragraph? This is the first question. What is the main idea of the first paragraph? And what is the opposite of the underlined word smuggle? What is the opposite of the underlined word smuggle? What does the underlined word which refer to? What does the underlined word which refer to? Which of the statements is not false? Which of the statements is not false? You, there are some uh, statements later. And the purpose of the writer in writing this passage is to. What is the purpose of writing this passage? What is the purpose of the writer? So what is the main idea of the first paragraph? What is the opposite of the underlined word? What does the underlined word which refer to? And which of the statement is not false? You have to mention the correct sentence or the true sentence. And the verbs of the writer. What is the verbs of the writer in this passage? Here the story or the article is divided into two paragraphs. Please read the article as quickly as possible and try to answer the following or the previous questions you have just seen and pay attention to the underlined words smuggle and which. Read the story silently, please.
Now, please listen to me. I'm going to read the passage for you. 5,000 year old postal service. Visions have carried messages for humans for over 5,000 years. The Egyptians were probably the first to use them in 3000 BCE. Between 770 BCE and 390 BCE, the Greeks used them to carry news of the early Olympic Games. The first regular pigeon post service was in 1146 CE when the caliph used the pigeons to carry mail all over the world. In the Mamluk period in Egypt, there were thousands of pigeons in the postal service. In more recent times, pigeons have been used in wartime to send military reports back to leaders when it was too dangerous or impossible to use normal postal services. During the First World War, uh, 20,000 pigeons were killed and 30 British pigeons were given medals for bravery. Pigeons have been used to smuggle diamonds illegally out of South Africa. Pigeons are unique birds. A healthy pigeon can live for 15 to 20 years and can travel up to 1,000 kilometers in one flight. Most important of all, pigeons have a natural instinct to fly back to their nests or homes from wherever they are. This is why they are sometimes called homing pigeons. This ability makes them perfect for carrying messages over long distances. They are trained and fed in one area, then taken to other areas where they are used when someone wants to send a message to their home. Normally, messages are written on light paper and then fastened to the feet of the pigeon. When they are released, they always return home. There are even boomerang pigeons, which are trained to deliver one message and return with another. So what is the main idea of the first paragraph? Ahmad Jamal Wardani. Uh, what do you think? Uh, the student gets uh, about uh, the importance of uh, visions. Yes, the importance of visions. Good, let's see. So here, you've got three choices. Who used visions illegally in the past? Visions were given medals for bravery. How the messages were tied to visions? And the fourth one, who used visions in the past and what for? I choose one of them. Yes, Luardani, what is the main idea of the uh, first paragraph? Uh, how uh, the messages Who? Were, uh, were tied to pigeons. Were tied? How the messages were tied to pigeons? It, it is mentioned in the last line in the second paragraph, I think. Ahmed Samir, Abdul Hakim. Uh, sorry, uh, Faris Samir, Abdul Hakim. I'm sorry, Faris Samir. Yes, Faris. Uh, uh, same uh, question. Yes, same question. What is the main idea of the first paragraph? I choose one of them. The uh, main idea of the first paragraph in the past and what for? Yes, good. So in this, uh, in the first paragraph, we knew that uh, the Egyptians were the first to use what to use pigeons, and the Greeks, uh, the the Mamluks, or the uh, the Caliph. So the right answer. The main idea of the first paragraph, who used visions in the past and what for? For carrying messages. What is the opposite of the underlined word smuggle? You've got here four choices. Does smuggle, what is the opposite for smuggle? What is the opposite? Deliver messages, bring legally, carry mail, bring illegally. Salim Nabil, what is the opposite? Uh, bring legally. Bring legally, yes. So uh, here, uh, pigeons have been used to smuggle diamonds illegally out of South Africa. A smuggle, the opposite is bring legally. Yes, good, Salem. Thank you. The underlined word which in the second paragraph refers to. What does which in the second paragraph refer to? Does it refer to boomerang pigeons? Boomerang, uh, the feet of the pigeon, home. 
خالد وليد ويتش بومرينج بومرينج هير بي اتنشن خالد نعم ذا لاست لاين سيز there are even boomerang pigeons which are trained to deliver one message and return with another the word boomerang uh, you will find you will study it that a boomerang is a piece of a stick that you can throw it in the air and it will come back again but here uh, boomerang is an adjective describing the type of pigeons that can uh, uh, that can be trained to deliver one message and then return with another message So, which yeah. refers to? Yes, uh, Shadi. Thank you, Khaled. Shadi. Boomerang pigeons. Boomerang pigeons. Yes, that's the right answer. So, which refers to boomerang pigeons? يعني حمام رايح جاي. Boomerang pigeons. Boomerang دي عصا بيستخدم لي للصيد زمان كان بيرموها في الهواء ترجع بي تضرب الحيوان وترجع تاني. وكمان بيستخدموها في الرياضة. Boomerang is a, a piece of stick. It is used by the uh, the native Australian or the first uh, the first people who lived in Australia. They used uh, these pieces of stick to hunt animals. Which of the following statements is not false? You have to discover the true or the correct sentence. You've got here four sentences. People knew about homing pigeons after the Mamluk period. Caliphs did not believe in homing pigeons. Pigeons could deliver heavy messages easily. Messages were put on light paper. Which is the correct sentence? Muhammad Ahmad Abdul Hasib. Messages were put on light paper. Very good. الحمام ما يقدرش يشيل حاجة ثقيلة، الحمام بيشيل إيه؟ رسالة ملفوفة في مربوطة في قدمه وفي ورقة خفيفة، لايت بيبر ورق خفيف. So the right answer good محمد. Messages were put on light paper. Very good. What is the purpose of the writer in writing this passage? إيه غرض الكاتب؟ إيه غرض الكاتب في كتابة الموضوع؟ uh, Tell how pigeons were trained to deliver messages. Tell the readers about pigeons in South Africa. Inform us about homing pigeons in general. Tell us about why caliphs used pigeons. So why does the writer write this passage? العدل يا سي احمد سمير ايوه اسف اللي اول واحده سر انفورم اس اباوت هومينج بيجنز ان جنرال انفورم اس اباوت هومينج بيجنز ان جنرال يس فيري جود ثانك يو محمد واحمد سمير ثانك يو انفورم اس اباوت هومينج بيجنز ان جنرال So this is what this is a summary for the story we have just read. Homing pigeons, they have a natural ability to fly back to their homes. They were used to carry messages and send reports in wartime. Uh, boomerang pigeons, they are trained to deliver one message and return with another. And of course, Why were pigeons used in time in war time? They were used in war time because it was dangerous or impossible to use normal postal service. I like to use the the hammam is the jilda for to send the messages and the reports in war because it was very dangerous to use the normal postal service. I like to use the hammam is the jilda for to send the messages and the reports in war because it was Who first used the carrier pigeons over history? Carrier pigeons in Hamam is the Ajil Hamam Vikra Rasail. Carrier pigeons. Who was or who first used the carrier pigeons over history? El Wardani. The Egyptians. 
the Egyptians. Good. So the ancient Egyptians, the ancient Egyptians uh, first used the carrier pigeons over history. Second sentence, carrier uh, pigeons can be used for different purposes. Mention some. What are the different purposes uh, for using carrier pigeons? Omar Hamdi. Uh, they uh, carried news and uh, they send military reports. Very good. So uh, in times of war, in order to send the military reports, and in some countries, they use uh, carabagents to smuggle diamonds, to smuggle diamonds. And we've got other questions here. I'm going to ask a question and I will call the person to read it. Let's start with Hani. Visions were used for messaging. Who first used visions for messaging? Hani. Uh, soldiers. Soldiers, no. The first people who used visions for sending messages. You are sleeping. Yes, Ala Atif. Uh, the, the Egyptian. The Egyptians, yes, the ancient Egyptians. Good. Second question. Uh, Abdullah Bassam. Abdullah Bassam. What did the Greeks use visions uh, messaging for? The Greeks. Abdurrahman Hamar Atiyah. Yes, Abdurrahman. Uh, for spreading the, the news of the early Olympic Games. You know that the Greeks, the ancient Greeks, were uh, famous for playing or, or taking part in, in the Olympic Games. So they used the visions to send the news, to send the news, to spread the news of the early Olympic Games. Good. Thank you, Abdurrahman. Yes, Al Hassanin. Uh, in recent times, visions messaging have been used in war time. Give reasons why. Number three, please. Number three. Uh, to send the military reports back to leaders when it was too dangerous to use a normal postal service. Good. Yes, Salim Nabil. Why are visions called homing visions? They have natural instincts to fly back to their nests or homes from, where, from wherever they are. Thank you. So homing pigeons are called homing pigeons because they have a natural instinct. A natural instinct to fly back to their nests or homes from wherever they are. Thanks a lot. Yes, let's see. Hamad Khalid, why are boomerang pigeons called so? Boomerang visions. لماذا بعض حمام سمي أي boomerang visions؟ حمام رايح جاي boomerang. حمد خالد خالد هيفي. Yes. خلاص ده. Number five, please. أحمد كرم. Why are boomerang? The answer, please. The answer, please. Ahmed, yes, go on. Uh, they are, uh, they are have a ability to drive, uh, to uh, deliver one message and return with another. Yes, they are trained. They are trained to deliver one message and return with another. Thanks a lot. Yes, uh, Abul Khair, Ahmed Jamal Abul Khair, uh, number uh, six. In what ways has sending messages changed since the first carrier visions? Uh, yes, read the answer, please. People nowadays are using different ways for sending mess for sending messages like uh, letters, emails, faxes, uh, telegrams, SMS, uh, WhatsApp. E uh, yes, etc. Et etc. Means etc. Okay, thanks a lot. 
So these are the new words we started today. Fasten, fasten, fasten. Passengers must fasten their seat belts barrier to descent. Homing, homing. Migrating birds and fish have a strong homing stick. Illegally, illegally, illegally parked vehicles will be removed. Instinct. Animals have a natural instinct for survival. Instinct. Now, uh, fill in the space with the most suitable words from the list. You've got five words and four sentences. Please read and choose. Homing, illegally, instinct. Hassle, fasten. Hassle means uh, noise. Let's see, Han Sayed. Uh, yeah. I always forget. Yes, let's see. Shad Zakaria, number one. I always forget to fast see them while driving. Yes, fasten, T silent, fasten. Thank you, Shadi. Fasten, Amar Hamdi. They entered the country illegally. They don't have passports. Excellent, passports, good. Ahmed Samir Adil. Uh, so. uh, pigeons. Number three, it is that it tells is. the bird when to begin their migration. Instinct. Migration, it is instinct. It is instinct that it's tells the bird instinct. when to begin their migration. Very good. Last one. Last one. Let's see. Altras, yes. Birds are unique birds. They are called humming birds. Very good, Ahmed. Thank you so much. Uh, please don't forget to read the text again, read the story again, read the passage again to complete answering the exercises on workbook. And don't forget to uh, to revise the new words we studied today. Thank you so much. Until we meet again next week. Goodbye.